We're here at the Elk Ridge Open north of Prince Albert, about 45 minutes north of Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. I'm joined by Honorary Chair Graham Dillette. And Graham, first of all, how good does it feel to be the Honorary Chair involved in this event, helping to promote professional golf in the province? Yeah, it's a nice honour. I mean, we've had a, a little bit of a dip when, in our professional tournaments, you know, since almost when, when I was back playing the McKenzie Tour. So it's good to have professional golf back here for sure. And when uh, Ryan Danberg here from Elk Ridge, who's a friend of mine, asked me to be an Honorary Chair, it was, a, it was an honour for me to, to come up here and help uh, promote the tournament. So as far as the golf course goes here at Elk Ridge, what can you tell me about the layout and what the golfers are in store for? Yeah, well, I mean, this wind is going to make it difficult, that's for sure. I think this is a little stronger than normal, but uh, and it's it's keeping it between the trees and keeping it below the hole on a lot of these greens. But uh, I think we'll see some good scoring if the wind uh, stays down, but it's still going to be a challenge no matter what. It seems like every hole on these two nines are carved into the trees. They're pretty isolated with those trees on the left and the right. Do you think a lot of guys are going to be forced to keep the driver in the bag on a lot of the holes? There'll be a little bit, uh, you know, more passive plays probably off the tee. But one of the things, once you play out here a few times, it is actually wider than it looks. I think, you know, to the eye, it's a little bit more intimidating than it actually is when you get up there. Uh, that being said, the the most important thing really to avoid doubles is to keep the ball you know, out of the trees. So uh, I expect, and with the short course being as short as it is, um, you know, guys can kind of get away with uh, hitting some long irons and fairway woods off the tees and just keeping the ball in front of them. A couple of the par fives on the Aspen nine have been shortened to par fours. Does that change the player's attack at all? I think it just changes the mindset a little bit. You know, it's, when you got like a kind of a gimme, it's nice to make a birdie, move on to the next, and now all of a sudden you're grinding to make a four and a par. And, you know, mentally that's a little bit different, but it is the same for everyone, obviously. And, uh, you know, the score to par will come down. Like I think, you know, someone asked me last night, what do you think someone's going to, the winning score is going to be? And I said probably about 20, but you take away six of those par fives and now 1,400 makes the golf course look like it's standing up a little bit, a little bit better. Much like last week at the Brudenell River Classic, this is a 54-hole event. You can't win a tournament on the on the first day, but in a shortened tournament, you can lose it on the first day. How, how important is that quick start? Yeah, no question. I mean, it's like I said, it's avoiding all those big numbers out here. That's like, you know, the, whoever wins this golf tournament is going to be, you know, playing smart and keeping the ball in front of them. And you can kind of just plot your way around this place and, you know, trying to force it, I think, is when guys are going to start getting into trouble. And just to finish off, obviously charity is a big part of this. Uh, tell me about the Graham and Ruby Dillette Foundation and uh, what it means to be involved that way. Yeah, that was a nice thing with uh, Ryan Danberg. had mentioned that we could, you know, the, the proceeds could go to uh, our foundation. And, uh, you know, in Saskatchewan here, we've done a lot for uh, the Children's Hospital and for Junior Golf. And that's where the, uh, any money that we get will go right back into the province. All right, good stuff. And the first round of the Elk Ridge Open goes on Thursday.